Science Entrepreneur Week ended last week, but this morning we have a local entrepreneur to talk about building your brand in the digital age. And we've got Rocia Mora with tips on how she made YouTube vlogging a success for herself. Thanks so much for stopping by and Thank great to so meet you. Thank you so much for having me. So for somebody who doesn't know, YouTube vlogging. Yes. Definition of that. Yeah, I mean, it's really just video blogging. Um, any, any kind of content that you want to produce, you can essentially talk about anything on the world on YouTube. Very cool, and there's so many platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it, and it's really kind of a cool way for businesses and brands to really thrive and you know show off what you got. Talk about how your company works to do that and also with your other brand as well, it's all kind of exploded and you know really helped out quite a bit. Right, so uh, my brand is basically Reese's Rizzo's and I talk primarily about naturally curly hair. My main platform is YouTube, but I also have social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, kind of like how you mentioned. Um, one of the things that I've learned that I've kind of been letting other businesses know and other brands know is that you don't necessarily have to be on everything all the time because it, it's really a lot to keep up with. I mean, mm -hmm. you can't always be on Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat and whatever else is new under the sun. So really just kind of shining in a platform that you're more familiar with is really what's going to kind of help to grow and your brand. For somebody who might be kind of new to it, so you're, you kind of target in on YouTube. Talk Correct. about what these videos are like, how you create them, how you produce them, and then you produce also not only for your brand, but for clients out there as well. Right. For anybody who's starting off out there, I mean, you don't really have to have all the equipment in the world. You don't have to go out and buy the, the fanciest cameras or anything like that. When I started off, I literally just had a family camera plopped up on top of textbooks that I wasn't really reading in <laughs> front of a, a window for natural light and just kind of started like that. And just talking about something that you're passionate about. So for me, it was hair. And just being consistent with it and really engaging with your audience is really important when it comes to growing your brand or your online community. And then from there, you know, um, the money that you normally get from YouTube or, or sponsored campaigns from brands that you love working with is really what you can reinvest to kind of make the quality a little bit better. Very cool. And the interesting thing with it too, I know with WDSU on you know my work Facebook, I'll do Facebook Lives and tweeting and YouTubing and everything like that, but you can reach a lot of people. Talk Absolutely. about the amount of hits and views um, you're seeing. Yeah, so for me, the, the videos that are most popular are the ones that are like tutorials. Everybody wants to know how to style curly hair, how to wash curly hair, how to you know find the right products for your hair. So anything that's just kind of really um, answering what your community wants. I mean, I, I'm sure that's something that you've noticed too. It's usually whenever you're trying to reach out to a community, just answer them and, and answering them is really what's gonna drive engagement. It's all about engaging and yes. getting those clicks and views. All right, well, thanks so much for your Thank time. You. Pleasure meeting you and great information and great tips.